You never know exactly. The only person who really knows exactly what brought themselves into homelessness is that person if they've figured it out. I was in the United States Army from 1970, active duty till 1976, and then on temporary disability retirement from 1976 to 1977, and on full permanent retirement from 1977 on. So you know, between 76 and 81, I pretty much had to find a place to stay every once in a while, simply because I'd worn out my welcome or whatever. I was in the Navy, never on a ship. <laughs> My dad had massive stroke in 95, took care of him till 2005 when he passed away. He was a veteran and then two years later I lost my mom and I took care of her those two years. And then I took in a little guy um, whose mom was in prison and I had him for eight years. When CPS just ripped the little guy away from me, it really did me in. And it just got to the bottom where I was like, whoa, it's too much. Last time I saw him, he said, Mom, please fight for me. Don't give up on me. And, uh, you know, I'm still doing it. Served in the U.S. Army back in uh, 1975 through 1981. Delayed entry, six-year program, four years active program. My dad just recently passed. Part of my homelessness was being with him, for him, during this time on basically what I call his deathbed uh, at the VA hospitals, uh, mostly in West Los Angeles and in Loma Linda. During that time, I was living in my car, sleeping in my car outside of the hospital because of rules and regulations. Yeah, I heard something interesting from a person who was homeless just the other day. All right, he said, you know what? We've served our country, but we don't know how to ask for help. It is hard for some people because they don't want to admit they have the depression and get help for it. Just because you get help doesn't mean you're weak. Like you get in so deep that it's like, unless somebody's there to pull you out and help you out, it's, it's, you feel like you're trapped and that you can't get out. I ran into a person that works here named Esther. And uh, pretty much she was the connection that got me into here. His son lives here with his mom. And that's probably my number one priority right now is to get myself back together to a point where I have him back with me. I was talking to Esther and she helped set me up with this, which is awesome. I'm not staying down, I got it, you know? I'm gonna pick myself back up.